Hi, this is Suzanne from Backyard University here to talk about how to keep bees away from your deck. We all love these super pollinators, but not on our outside decks. It's easy enough to swat a bee or two, but what about large swarms? What happens when they decide to make their home on your deck or patio? They can be more than just a nuisance. Let's face it, their sting hurts, causing whelps and sometimes even an allergic reaction, especially if you're stung by multiple bees at the same time. So today we're gonna to talk about how to keep them where they belong, on our plants and pollinating. First, we're gonna talk about a few natural ways that won't hurt the bees. Your first line of defense is using physical barriers, such as an outdoor screen or netting around the deck area. Our photo shows a patio screen from DACA screen. It's a fiberglass screen roll for windows, doors, or patios. This option is completely bee friendly and can be keep everyone safe and happy. Another natural and effective way to keep bees away from your deck is by planting flowers and herbs that naturally repel bees. Bees are attracted to sweet smelling blossoms, so counteracting this can be a great way to send them on their way. Some plants that you can plant around your deck to repel these bees are cucumbers, geraniums, citronella, lavender, eucalyptus, mint, and basil. Not only will these plants act as an effective deterrent against bees, but other insects such as flies and mosquitoes. Plus, they'll look beautiful in any garden. Another way to keep bees from your deck is by encouraging natural predators. Introducing birds and other animals that feed on bees can provide a much needed service in keeping your outdoor space bee free. One of the easiest methods of doing this is to install bird houses around the perimeter of the area. Birds such as thrushes, swifts, mockingbirds, and woodpeckers that will eat these bees. Give these a safe place to nest and you'll be giving them easy access to any bees buzzing around. You may also use chemical products, which include chemical repellents that won't hurt the bees, like exterminators, choice, bee and wasp defense made of a cinnamon scent, or you can find chemicals, foams, and sprays that will kill the bees on contact. Traps can be a great way to reduce the bee population around your deck, and there are others besides the Venus flytrap which only grows naturally in the Carolinas. There are two types of traps that you can use, commercial and homemade. Commercial bee traps come in various shapes and sizes, depending on the type of bee or wasp you're trying to trap. They usually involve an attractant, such as a scent or color, which draws the bees in a container where they cannot escape. Homemade traps are often made out of materials like plastic bottles, containers, cardboard boxes, etc. They are filled with water and sugar solution which draws the bees. When they enter, their wings become wet, making it difficult for them to take off again. To make sure this is effective, these homemade traps must be emptied regularly as they quickly fill up with dead bees. The use of ultrasonic deterrence is an eco-friendly choice, but it is important to note that not all frequencies will be successful in deterring bees. Before you purchase one, make sure it has a frequency specifically tailored to bees for maximum effectiveness. Also check the range of coverage. Some may only cover small areas, while others can reach up to 20 feet or more. You can use any outdoor or shop vacuum to suck up the bees on your deck or patio. If you choose this method, please note, the bees will not survive. Keep your deck clean and clear is key to keeping bees away. Bees are attracted to sweet smells of food and drink. So if there are crumbs or spilled drinks on your deck, they may be lured into looking for a snack. 
Here's what you can do to keep them at bay. Clean up any spills right away with soap and water. Make sure all food items are stored properly in covered containers. Bees are attracted to any food lying around or spills that have occurred. So place all food in the trash can and make sure you put a lid on the trash. Fragrances are another huge attractor of bees and many shampoos, soaps, conditioners, etc. have fragrances that are sure to attract bees. Therefore, it's best not to wear any products with perfumes out on your deck. We at Backyard University believe by using these simple steps, you will be able to keep bees in your flowers and not on your deck. If you're interested in more information on how to keep bees off your deck, click the link below for our article, How to Keep Bees Away from Deck. We've also supplied links to the above products for your convenience.